Hey everybody and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I recently uploaded a video about different island themes in Animal Crossing New Horizons, including popular themes like cottagecore, fairycore, kidcore, and many, many more. And in that video, I asked you whether you'd be interested in a second and maybe even a third part. And some of you said that you definitely would be. So here we are today with more beautiful, beautiful island themes. Now, once again, this is by no means a complete list. I can easily do a third part if you'd like. And this is also not a complete list of all the items and villagers and colors you can use for each theme. So this is just supposed to give you kind of an idea and some inspiration for what you can do with your island. I do definitely recommend checking out the first part if you haven't just yet, so I'll be linking that down below, of course. But today we will look at some different island themes. And once again, I found some amazing, amazing creators that I featured in this video. I will put their socials on screen, of course, so you can go ahead and check them out. And all of their social media will also be linked down below in the description box. So I highly, highly recommend that you go ahead and follow all of these amazingly talented creators. But without further ado, I would say let's go ahead because class is about to start. I'm going to be mentioning this again in this video because I feel like you can't stress it enough. Of course, there is no need for you to stick to a certain theme or certain colors or even specific villagers for a theme. You can do whatever you like with your island. This really is purely just to inspire you and give you kind of an idea what is possible because there are definitely themes that I haven't even started to think about while other people execute them perfectly. When talking about the names of the different themes, we last time talked about the hardcore aspect. However, the core suffix can also come from the French word coeur, which means heart. And that basically just means that whatever comes in front of that suffix is kind of the defining feature. So if you look at the word cottage core, cottage would be the defining feature. Today, the first theme we're going to be talking about is urban or urban core. This theme is based all around like um, cities and street life and more like a modern society and recent decades and definitely focuses more on symmetry than for example a natural cottage core island would. However, I would say that it is definitely a bit different from the city core that we looked at last time. I feel like maybe urban is kind of like a smaller city in that way. Um, and some defining colors for this theme are gray and brown just because oftentimes those are the colors of the involved bricks. And apart from that, I feel like with urban, you can go in several different directions. I've seen a lot of white included, but I've also seen people do kind of more colorful versions of it, especially with flowers and so on and so forth. Some items that I see with urban islands a lot are all types of benches, street lamps, fountains, and also stalls because oftentimes urban islands have lots of marketplaces or just generally like a flower stall, a newspaper stall, a small coffee shop and things like that. I wouldn't really say that there are any specific villagers that come to mind when thinking of an urban island. I guess I would just say they're usually not too colorful and I don't really see a lot of tree branch houses or log cabins on these urban islands. Next up, let's take a look at Elegant Core. Now, Elegant Core is definitely very closely related to urban islands. It also has a lot of stone. There is oftentimes a lot of symmetry going on. However, the main difference that I've seen with urban and Elegant Core islands is that for the Elegant Core, there's oftentimes a specific color focus and also a focus on more elegant colors. So you usually don't really see a lot of brown in Elegant Core islands, I feel like. And I actually brought you two examples today. One of them is more like a black and white themed island and the other one has a lot of blue items involved. Key colors, of course, very much depend on the key colors that you just choose for yourself. Therefore, also the villagers very much depend on that. So if you are going for a black and white theme, maybe Zell and Marshall could fit. And then for a blue theme, Filbert and Blue Bear, for example, come to mind. Once again, I'd probably say there are not too many log cabins or tree branch houses, but apart from that, I haven't really seen specific villagers. Some key items, however, that I see a lot in these Elegant Core Islands are all the statues from Red, um, as well as lots of fountains, and once again, the Iron Garden furniture, so any benches or chairs, and also lots and lots of flowers. And now let's take a look at a current trend, I think, and that is Tropicore or Tropical Core. And this, as I'm sure a lot of you can imagine already, is all around colorful and vibrant items and aspects that are based on natural elements. 
Once again, I've brought you two examples and this time two very, very different examples, which kind of shows how different these themes are even when there is a specific aesthetic that you're trying to follow. Because one of the islands is more like a rainforest or jungle island, it's a lot more like natural, and the other one is more like a tropical retreat and spa of some sorts. Key colors for this theme kind of involve very vibrant colors. Of course, there's a lot of green just because of the trees, and then there's also yellow, pink, red, orange, blue, kind of whatever you'd like to incorporate really, and oftentimes I see tons and tons of very bold prints with this theme. Items that I oftentimes see on tropical islands are palm and bamboo trees. These really are a defining feature of them, I feel like, and just set it apart from like a cottage core or like a forest core island, just because the type of tree is so, so different. And then of course there's all the other bamboo items and everything that's just kind of related to the beach or a pool. There's quite a few tropical themed villagers in this game, so I'm only going to name a few, but the ones that came to my mind were Alice, Bangle, June, as well as O'Hare and Tucker. Another theme that oftentimes is related to like a tropical theme but deserved its own mention is a pirate themed island or maybe even pirate core if you will. This of course focuses on all kinds of boats, the sea, treasure, just general pirate items and like I said oftentimes these are also kind of like a tropical island. Colors for this, however, include a lot more dull and muted colors. There is a lot of black and brown, and also for all the pirate items, there might be red going on, and of course we do have the green from all the trees. Items for this, as I'm sure is pretty obvious, is the entire Gulabar set. There's so many pirate-themed items that this theme actually really is amazing, amazing to carry out, and I've truly been impressed by the pirate island that you can see right now. I actually also toured this island, so that'll be linked down below, as well as any other island tour that kind of fits the described themes. On top of all the pirate items, I've also seen a lot of the gold items, and in order to create the illusion of ships, I've seen Shauna use lots and lots of the podiums as well as the marketplace decoration. Once again, I don't think that there are any specific villagers for a pirate-themed island. However, I probably would go more for like angry-looking ones or maybe bigger villagers. I know that Shauna actually has lots of eagles on her island, or you could maybe even go for tropical ones and assign them different roles. And of course, I couldn't talk about different themes and just leave out plant core. Now, plant core, I'm not really sure if that was really a thing. I just knew I wanted an island based around plants, and so that's just kind of what I did. And I called it plant core. It's pretty much just based on plants as well as plant themed accessories and areas, and has a general, like, overgrown and very natural vibe. An absolute key color for this, of course, is green, but I also tend to use lots of brown, cream, as well as some gray in my island. Items, as once again, that is probably quite obvious to figure out, are all of the plant items, but I also very much love the bamboo items and also the trees, wooden stuff, rocks, also the mush partition in green is great. So everything that kind of just gives off a natural and probably green vibe is perfect for this theme. If you were to define villagers for a plant core theme, I probably would say it's pretty much related to a cottage core island, so just very natural and realistic ones. So maybe Maple and Ellie and Eric. And there is also quite a few whose houses would fit perfectly. Um, only to name a few, there's Callie, Dina, and Frobert, for example. And the next theme, I'm also not quite sure if that's an actual thing, but let's talk about swamp core. Swamp Core is a theme that Tina, aka Teen Bean, really put her name on, and a swamp, per definition, is just a forested wetland, so it kind of both land and water play an important role. So one of the most important aspects, I think, for this kind of island is lots and lots of waterscaping. Key colors for this are mainly brown and green, as you're really trying to create that like muddy aesthetic. And some of the items I saw the most on Tina's Island were bug models, lots of like fishing items and fishing equipment, and then of course a lot of brown wooden furniture, like the barrels and log furniture, all that kind of stuff. And as for villagers for this theme, I probably would say that all the alligators as well as frogs are probably pretty much perfect for this. And with that, let's talk about Rustic, Rustic Core, and also Medieval Islands. 
With rustic core, you're kind of focusing on, of course, rusted or old items and dark stained wood. There's lots and lots of farms. And the main difference to cottage core, I think, is that cottage core is just a lot cleaner, if that makes any sense. So you're really trying to transport that like used and dirty kind of aesthetic in the best way possible. So for this island, which by the way, I've also toured on my channel, Samima, for example, put lots of broken wine bottles on the floor, which I think is perfectly spot on. Key colors for this definitely are brown and any kind of darker color. Everything that's kind of muted fits very, very well for this theme. Um, and there's also quite a bit of cream going on. Some of the most used items, especially on Sumima's island, just because she did kind of do a lot of buildings, are the simple panels as well as stalls. And there's generally just a bunch of dark wood and also farm items, as a lot of times there are quite a few farms with this theme. Villagers for this, I think, are pretty much like cottagecore islands. So once again, you're probably trying to focus on some more realistic villagers. And next up, let's talk about Japanese themed islands. This theme, I think, is incredibly interesting. With Animal Crossing being a Japanese game, there are lots and lots of items included that are related to a Japanese culture. And islands in this kind of aesthetic are also kind of divided to, on the one hand, portray the city aspect of Japan, but then also to show some more rural areas. Once again, I brought two different examples that both did this, so they both kind of divided their island. And I thought that the transition from these two kind of aesthetics, even though it's the same kind of theme, was so impressive because on the one hand, you're really trying to incorporate like a lot of city themed items and you use like utility poles, a lot of the stone items and stalls to create kind of markets. And you're using like gray and brown and any type of like brick color, as well as some colors, for example, for neon lights. But then also you enter more the nature side. And then there's lots of bamboo and then the Zen items and for example, stone items. And I was very much truly impressed. And once again, for this theme, there are lots and lots of villagers that really, really fit the theme. So I'm only gonna name a few and show their houses. So you kind of know what I mean. But Blanche, Chester, Genji, and Snake really seem to be spot on for this. And then last, but certainly not least, let's talk about witch core or generally witch themed or spooky themed islands. I've once again brought you two examples to show you how differently these themes can be carried out. One of them is more like a witchy abandoned island where especially the atmosphere plays a big part because it is based during the night and a heavy, heavy thunderstorm. And the other that I'd like to show you is definitely more like a spooky Halloween themed island. This one is placed in fall and also around the 5 p.m. mark. So there's lots and lots of orange going on. However, both of these kind of focus around witchcraft and are heavily influenced by nature as well as anything that's kind of creepy. Key colors for this theme and for both of the examples are definitely black and any kind of dark color. And then depending on what direction you're going in, you could incorporate a lot of purple or also orange. And I've also seen people do, especially interiors in this theme that are kind of more on the mossy side. So green could definitely also be a key color. Items for this definitely involve a lot of the pumpkins as well as the entire spooky item set. And then also for witch core, of course, all kinds of candles and illuminated items really transport that aesthetic. For villagers, I guess I would say either go for like generally dark villagers or kind of creepy looking ones. So I would say Agnes, Cherry, Kiki, as well as Lazy and Muffy, and also Ruby because of her red eyes would kind of be perfect for this theme. And that is the roundup of themes for this video. Once again, if you haven't seen the first part, I'll definitely link it down below. But I do hope that you enjoyed this video as well. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below as well as whether you'd like to see a third part. I really hope that you could find some inspiration and please be sure to give all the love to the creators of these amazing, amazing islands. I hope to see you again very, very soon in one of my videos. And until then, I hope that you have an awesome, awesome time. Bye.